What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today we are going to be talking about the possibility of Nuketown being brought back a third time in Black Ops 3. So uh, this thing started in Black Ops 1 as just normal Nuketown, then we moved to Black Ops 2 where we had Nuketown 2025. It was kind of a futuristic take on the original map and now we've got a possibility of having a new Nuketown. I'm going to call it Nuketown 2065 because that's the year that this game is set in and it's going to be even more futuristic than, than Black Ops to us. So, uh, where does this come from? Because I'm not just randomly making this up. Well, if you go over to the Call of Duty official site and you go into the merch store, you guys can see right here, there's a listing for a Black Ops 3 Nuketown Heather t-shirt. And you guys can see it's kind of like this gray t-shirt. It's got the blue nuke explosion in the background. It says, Welcome to Nuketown, Population Zero. Now, uh, obviously, when you first see this, you think, Oh wow, Black Ops 3, Nuketown together. Obviously that's telling us something, that's insinuating something. Nuketown's gonna be in Black Ops 3. But hold your horses, it doesn't definitely confirm it because this t-shirt has been sold before. This isn't a Black Ops 3 exclusive t-shirt. In fact, I already have the t-shirt from back in Black Ops 2. So, uh, oh wow, look at that. That guy looks super handsome right there, doesn't he? Now, uh, so that kind of makes me think like, Yes, this could be tying Black Ops 3 with Nuketown, but it also could be a little bit of a coincidence, a little bit of a mistake. Maybe Black Ops 3 isn't really meant to be in that title there, and it's just meant to be like a, a Nuketown Black Ops t-shirt. I'm not sure. It, it could be telling us something. It could not be telling us something. We aren't going to know for quite some time now, but I just kind of want to get you guys' thoughts on it and what you guys thought. Like, would you guys like to see Nuketown come back a third time? Part of me thinks, like... Maybe Nuketown's a little bit played out. Maybe it's it's been done one too many times. But then part of me's like... Dude, like, I, I can't imagine a Black Ops game without Nuketown in it. It's, it's kind of a staple of the Black Ops series, and I, I think it would be fun to play in the new game. I, anytime Nuketown comes up in the rotation, everybody's always voting for it, and that's the sign of a good map. So, I don't know. We could be getting a third installment of Nuketown. I think that would be pretty sweet. Now, uh, what I did do is I set up a poll over on It's All Viral. So make sure you guys go over there. I'm going to link it. It's going to be the top link down in the description. I really encourage you guys to vote here because once, uh, once everybody's voted, I'm going to take it. I'm going to send it over to Vaughn and Treyarch and, and kind of show them, you know, what everybody had to say. And if you could choose one map to bring back from Black Ops 2 into Black Ops 3, what would it be? And I kept it super simple. I limited it to four options. So what would you choose? Nuketown, Hijacked, Raid, or standoff. Go over there, vote for that. Once we have quite a few votes, I'm gonna send it over to Vaughn, like I said, and maybe we can have some sort of influence uh, on the maps that they bring back into this game. But I just, I thought that'd be a pretty good poll. You know, all four of those maps are really, really good, and I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Nuketown 2065, possibly coming to Black Ops 3. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out that poll. Link down in the description or annotation on screen, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.